there's two words that really draw me in and they're in the title of this video so they must draw you in as well and that is reptiles and homesteading and those are two things that i have always dreamed of combining and we moved to this property a couple years ago how long has it been now um, almost three years about, Almost, about three years. So we moved to this property about three, yeah, isn't that crazy? Three years ago, and we have built a, what I consider a large reptile business. But we are not done there. I have a vision, and I've had a vision this whole time of creating a reptile homestead. Now, you might be wondering what that is, and what I want to create here, and what you guys are going to be able to watch us create you know, subscribe you guys are going to be able to watch us create a self-sustaining property not only for us me and my family but also for the reptile side of things so that's what we're doing today today we're kind of breaking the ground one mistake i've made in the past is you know i want to do a spring garden and i wait until spring to get started and that's whenever all the reptiles are waking up and becoming active and so I'm, I'm so motivated to see this vision come into reality. And so what I've decided to do is I've got to start prepping for the gardens now during winter. That way when spring comes around, I have the seeds and I am counting down days to drop them in. We've already made a list of things that we want to grow and things we want to do. And I can't wait to share all those things with you guys. But what we're going to do today is this area right here behind me right next to our greenhouse that we kind of renovated this past summer. This is gonna be a garden that's going to provide so much food for me and for all my lizards and tortoises and all of that. So, but we have to get this ground ready. That's one thing that we have to do. And I have the perfect thing to use for that. What we're doing right now is I use this Premier One fencing that's solar powered, super easy, one unit. You just take it and clip this onto your electric netting and it creates a great barrier for the pigs, super easy to move around. But we're gonna take a strand and the energizer and we're gonna go set it up over there by the greenhouse where we showed you guys. All right, so 100 feet of fencing right here now. Let me show you how easy it is to get this set up in our new garden or pig paddock right now. Yeah. Okay. Premier One fencing really is so easy. We're gonna go one post out this way, all right? You can just hammer them in or push them in, whatever. It's, it's, it's simple and the whole net is electrified and the pigs respect it. They, they don't wanna touch it. We, we trained them on this. This whole process of doing this started several weeks ago when you know, I first trained them to the fencing. And then as you guys saw just a minute ago, we had them move back into the pasture. You wanna do another one? Does this look straight? No. Look, we wanna go, come this way? Yeah. All right. So this is actually the grounding rod for the Premier um, setup. So this box just slides right on top of that. It really is. I think the easiest way to set it up. Can I do it? Yeah. Let's get this thing in here. So that hammers down into the ground. And then this. Oh, let's put it the right way. This just slides right on top. And then it clips on down here. Oh, look at this grasshopper. You know what I did? Look at that grasshopper. A grasshopper. Will he jump? 
Oh. 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 So then you just take the alligator clip, clip it onto your fence. What I love about these fences, they don't have to make a circle. They don't have to make a circuit. You can just do it just like this, where we just did an L shape. Now the last step is getting the pigs in here. So how are we gonna do that? You guys, you guys ready? That's the funnest part. You guys ready for that? So I think we're gonna run the piglets through the field. Through the backfield? Through the backfield and then okay. around through this gate, but it might go hectic. So we've practiced this before, the piglets following us, but it's been a little bit. This is a long distance. This is a long distance for them to go. And we have Let's. to not get the parents. Yeah, and we piglets. only want the piglets, just the little guys to come out and follow us into their new pig pen where our garden's gonna be. <laughs> Let's do it, I think I'm excited. All right, you guys ready? Pig, 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 pig. Liam, get him this way. Say pig, 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 pig. Pig, 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 pig. Pig, pig, pig. Get him to follow you, Liam. You start running and call him. Say pig, pig. So we've got these eight pigs now in their new little paddock uh -huh. here, which is going to be our spring garden that's going to provide tons of food for us and the reptiles. And one thing, you know, raising pigs, the expensive part of that is buying their feed. But if we continually to move these piglets around and the adult pigs, these are grazing pigs. They eat grass. That is the majority of their diet and this is gonna work out great. All right, so these guys have been in here for about 30 minutes now. And as you can see, they're doing their thing. Like I said, these guys are hard workers. Look at them. They're gonna have a mouthful of grass <laughs> for the next month in, the, in here. Come here. But one reason why Kuni Kunis are so great and a lot of small homesteads are choosing to raise them is because of how friendly they are. Look at this. Watch this pig here. Even as a little, look at this. They can't help it. If you pet them, they fall over. And that's one of the things that I just fell in love with about them. The adults will do this too easily. You barely touch their bellies and they just can't help themselves but roll over and get loving. And they're just the sweetest little piggies. Right. I love these piggies. Hey baby. Is 
Isn't that the sweetest thing? All of them will do this. Every single one will come up, let you pet them. I love their long fur they get in the winter. Super hardy breed of pig. And they're a grazing pig, you guys. They eat grass. That is what they want to eat. They're amazing. And I hear they taste really good, too. Right here is where their shelter is. It's a perfect little house for the this pigs. This used to made for the tortoises. Yep, it was originally for tortoises, but the pigs are going to use this. It'll be perfect for them. We're just going to go get some pine needles and add them in. And it's going to work out good. We'll, I will update you guys probably in a couple weeks or so. We'll film this area again and we'll do an update on how the garden's going. But so spring garden starts right now Orange. reptile homestead make sure you guys subscribe i'm excited Orange. i don't know about Orange. you guys but i'm really excited about this those are two absolutely beautiful words combined together Orange. reptile homestead one thing i've learned about pigs after owning them for a couple of years now is that they are very hard workers they want to wake up and work all day long as you can see this is what they do you may look at them and be like they're just eating but no pigs are working if you can set them up correctly move them around your land this is what they want to do so they are going to fertilize this ground make it so lush for our garden this spring